School folks, school is almost back in session, which means that supplies are definitely a must. So those backpacks, pens, binders, markers, all that stuff. But don't forget that the current market for school supplies is truly breaking the bank. Our Trent Croce spoke to local organizations working to ease some of the financial stress for those who are headed back to school. Today, Tashayla Bell and Chelsea Heath of the Finer Future Foundation are at Rogers High School looking to help any and everyone. This is for everybody who was in the city that can come out. It was no charge and there's no like um, zip code of where we're cutting off at. This is for all the kids. School supply lists can be long, but those store receipts will cut your wallet short with how costly supplies are right now, which is why Heath says the foundation must do something to help out. Just trying to aid in the community um, and be that helping hand, um, just because, you know, prices have rose and, you know, it's, it's hard out here. So um, just definitely trying to make sure um, that we can do our part. Bell says making sure students have the simplest supplies is important. And it's really hard for some families to provide just basic stuff, pencils, book bags. But it wasn't just school supplies for sixth grader Antonio Washington who got even more out of the event. I got soap, some toothpaste, and a toothbrush. Um, I got some food, and I had fun with my siblings and my nephew. Brandy Shepard noticed the need in Sylvania schools too. It's why she started Southview's Cougar Closet around five years ago. That we can fulfill that need so that they can be there to really just focus on their learning. That's why they should, that's why they're coming to school. That's what they can focus on. And help isn't reserved for just students. Teachers can get help with their classrooms too. Um, the new teacher supply closet, because as a new teacher, especially elementary, I don't know how they do it. You're dropping a thousand dollars a year, easily that first year. And none of these women ever plan to stop helping. We've been growing as the years go on, and we're just going to keep doing that. Yeah. In Toledo, Trent Croce, WTOL 11. All right, and Shepard also works with the Sylvania Area Family Services, and together they've helped over 500 families in need get ready for this coming school year. The Cougar Closet and Finer uh, Future Foundation plan to continue helping even after school starts.